Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome to Mesa RC, and today I'm doing the mini eclipse build video. So first we're gonna go through our parts. You can get you can download them on the Mesa RC website. I already have all mine spray painted, so this is like the fuselage part. Um, this is the bottom part of the nose cone, and this is the top part of the nose cone. This is these are our main wing part for our wing, our stabilizers, our main body part, our belly pan, belly pan rib, and your battery tray. I want to prep your uh, belly pan, so you just can use your finger to crease right here, right here, and then on this line too. And then you need to clean out these little squares, and then. You take this, and I like to pinch these so they fit. And you're gonna throw glue right down the center. And just let it dry. So next we're gonna put this into the main bottom plate, and I like to dry fit mine just to get it formed first. And then um, you can just glue it down like this, but I'm gonna glue down the center first. So then you're gonna put glue right here to help strengthen this on both sides and then you're going to put glue on the joint of this side right here to make sure it stays and then you're going to put glue between each of these little holes only up to this point because this piece you're going to bend And then you're gonna do the same to the other side. So what I like to do is I like to put a bead of glue on the outside and smooth it out to keep this strengthened, which I already did. And then on the back here, you're gonna put just a little bit of glue right here, and bend this out and then on so it sits right there. And I also like to put glue on the inside of this to make sure it stays strong. Okay, so I finished my belly pan and this is what it should look like. And if you haven't done so already, you should bevel um, right from here to here on both sides. And so then we're gonna put in our servo. So these are not the greatest, these holes will not be the greatest for everyone. So I just like to just pinch it in and leave it up just a little bit for the airflow. And then you're gonna make sure that the wire is facing this way and you're just gonna super glue it in, or hot glue it in. So you're going to want to grab the back part of your fuselage part and we're going to form it first. So you just throw a thin bead of glue down each of these crevices. And then you're going to put this side in first. And don't glue it down yet. And you're just going to hold it there to make sure it... Hold it down. So you're going to want to make sure that you make sure this piece isn't too tall. And then when you're done with that, we're just going to, we're going to glue it down now. So since it does not need a lot of support, we're only going to glue on the outside. So you can just sit here and put the servo through the little hole that's cut out. Okay. And we're just going to throw glue along the edge. Do 
this end to the other side. And then you can clean that up with an extra piece of foam board that you have. So the next thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your uh, wing and you're gonna measure about how far this is and you're gonna bevel from here back to here and don't forget to bevel your control surfaces. So then you're gonna take this, kinda pinch it down a little bit and you're gonna take the glue and throw, throw a bead of glue down here. Take this and just pinch it down and work it in so it's pretty smooth. And then take a piece of tape. Just tape that. Make sure you get it really together. And do the same over here. Down. Then you just let that dry and do the same thing to the other side. So the next, so when you're done with that, you can take off the tape and it'll look like this. And you can work at however much you want, put clear tape over it or anything. The next part we're gonna do is the back part. So you're gonna want to look and see where these touch. You might have to make sure it's. You might have to force it so it touches evenly. You don't want this piece to go over this hole. And then you're gonna put a little bit of glue right here and here, up here, all the way up to there. And then you're just gonna take this and just. Hold this and pack it here to wherever the glue is. You can use tape to hold it down if you're not able to hold it that long. And then another point of where the wing touches the body is right here. And you're just wanting to put a sheet of glue back there and take a piece of tape and just hold that, hold that so that holds together. And then you're gonna do the same to the other side, right here. And throw glue back there. Get this tape. And then before we move on to the next step, you're gonna wanna make sure all the glue is dry on your wings. So we are gonna work on the stabilizers next, and you're just gonna take some glue. And don't, and don't be afraid of getting glue on the side of the wing. Um, it actually will help us. All the way down, take your stabilizer. You wanna, I like to give mine just a little bit of angle. So, with it however. And then right here, you're gonna wanna throw a line of glue just to strength, help strengthen it. Okay, so after you take off all the tape and all your glue is dry, we're gonna move on to the motor. So you wanna make sure your letters are on the right way and you wanna put your motor on the motor mount that comes with the kit. And I already have mine all set up so I know which way it's spinning and then all that. So then you're gonna wanna feed it through here all the way down to the other side. you're going to have, what you're going to do is you're going to want to put glue here and here because it's a friction fit and with the wires facing up you're going to glue it in there and make sure it's all flat. And then you're going to wait 
until it dries and make sure it's all even. Okay, so you can throw some glue behind the motor mount to strengthen it up and there is no thrusting on this so make sure it's flush to the plane. And then after that we're going to start on our battery plate. And so you can take out, I already have mine all prepared so you can take out that and you can throw some glue down the channel on both sides. Okay, so once this is dry, you're going to put it in here and put it under all the wires. And if you want, you can put Velcro right here for where your battery's going to sit. And put this in so it's flush against the plane. And then this one, you're just going to form this. So you're going to get it all set up. We beveled these parts. And you're going to want to put the glue down these joints. And then, and put it under here. And get it as flush against all the pieces as possible. And you want it as straight as you can up against these sides right here. And you're just gonna wait for that to dry. Okay, so once you get this plate formed, we're gonna actually glue it down. And if your wires keep getting in the way, you can just tape them up to the top. So I'm gonna take the glue gun and make sure that this piece is flat. And you're gonna put just glue along the side. the other side. Like this. And we'll press it up. Again, so make sure it's flat. And just let that dry. You're gonna pinch it. Okay, so once you're done drying, you can put glue around this to just help strengthen even more. And you're gonna notice there's a gap right here. And so design that on purpose so you can just grab onto the bottom and pull it out. So put it back in. And then, so now we're gonna start on our former air nose cone. So as you can see, I already started on this tie, but you're just gonna take a piece of tape and run it up along this seam. And do it to the same to the other side. And then I'm gonna take this other piece of tape and I'm just gonna really look at the top so they stay together. Take your glue gun and you're gonna put some glue down this channel. Okay, so while you're waiting for your nose, bottom part of your nose kind of to form or to dry, you're gonna take this and we're just gonna form this for your can be. You're just going to throw some glue down these two channels right here. And then you're going to make, make sure your wires are down for this part. I'm just going to take this. And we're only forming it right now, so it's okay. And you want to make sure it's even. That's good. And just going to let that dry. Okay. So now, once that's formed, you're just gonna do the same thing you did for the bottom piece. You put a piece of tape down the bottom. Put these together. You're gonna take your glue gun and down these channels. You're just gonna put some glue, and then you can just let that dry. All right. So our last step is we're gonna glue our top piece down. So you can get some help clear tape just right here, and you're just gonna put glue along this edge. this and making sure that it's all lined up. We're just going to glue this down. You can take your tape. So when you're done, after that's dried, you can just go ahead and take off the tape. And then you, want, you can dry fit this right here. And I had to trim a little bit off because everybody glues it differently. Um, so then, you're just going to feed these wires into here. Now it fits right up there. 
And then, so I have a metal plug. You can use a barbecue skewer, skewer or just whatever. And you're gonna, you can see there's holes over here already set in the design. And you can poke a hole through. And then do the same to the other side. And then just poke a hole through. And then set this. All the way through. And that will keep it connected. Let's see. There we go. And now, you're done. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take some Velcro and you're just gonna stick it down right here. So then we're gonna work with the electronics. So how you hook this up is you want your ESC to go on the throttle, and one of your servos will go on the aileron, and one will go on the elevator. So there's that. And then, so I already went ahead and did my servos, just because people like to do them differently. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your control horns. Or your yeah your horns up here and you're just gonna put them down and make sure they're fairly straight and then you can just take your push rod and put it through and then I have um, little linkage stoppers and then so what I'm gonna do because this is a little bit loose is put a zip tie and zip tie this down so that you don't have a lot of slack all right so now it's time to power this thing up so I'm using the F power pack from flight test this is an 803 cell uh, battery and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take here actually first you're gonna make sure your throttles down on your controller and turn it on and then you're gonna connect this and then let your plane do its thing okay so then you're gonna come back actually I'm gonna put this all in here first. Here. Wires out of the way. And then you're gonna come back here behind your plane. And so when you go right, your right aileron should go up and your left one should go down. When you go left, it should be the opposite. This one should go up and this one should go down. And you go up both uh, up on your controller, both of these uh, should go down, up, both should go up. And then um, I like to fly in high rates, but you guys can calm it down to low rates, whatever's fine. There you go. Put your little plug in. And we're ready to go fly this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, it's actually been a lot of fun working with Stormy's Eclipse. Um, please share your posts with us, your builds. Uh, the big, the big wings are fun to do a lot of different designs on. Yeah, thank you.